In my 25 years in practice, <clears throat> I would say fibromyalgia has probably been the condition that I have seen more of, at least more diagnosed uh, cases of fibromyalgia than any other condition. Uh, it seems like medicine doesn't even have much success at even treating the symptoms, uh, primarily because <clears throat> fibromyalgia honestly just doesn't come from a drug deficiency. So taking medications uh, isn't going to do anything to fix fibromyalgia. It might temporarily mask the symptoms, but they'll keep recurring uh, because the actual cause has never been addressed. And what we have found is most of the time fibromyalgia actually started with some sort of a neck injury years ago. Now it could have been uh, you know, a few months, but typically most of the time it's usually years ago. And what happens is, is the top bones in the neck do two things. One, they hold the head upright, okay? Because the head sits on top of those two bones. The other thing, very importantly, they house the brainstem. The brainstem comes out of your head, down through the top two bones in your neck, then it becomes spinal cord rest of the way down. Well, the brain stem seems to be the biggest problem when it comes to fibromyalgia. Now, uh, there's a lot of different reasons to this. One, the sleep center. Okay, if you have fibromyalgia, then I'm sure you, it's probably been a while, uh, you probably can't even remember the last time you had a good night's sleep. Well, with fibromyalgia, the, if you don't sleep well, what happens is your body just keeps tiring out and deteriorating because we're constantly fighting gravity. So you're using the same muscles day by day by day. Well, when you sleep, deep sleep, that's when your body heals. That's when those muscles repair themselves. So by not getting into deep sleep, it's like going and doing, the, doing bicep curls every single day, every day, every day. Eventually, those muscles, not only are they not going to repair, but they're going to start to wear down and they're going to start to hurt and they're going to get achy. And this is what's happening to your whole body because you're not getting into deep sleep. Well, the sleep center resides in the heart of the brainstem, and it shuts the brain down from back to front through all four stages to get you into deep sleep so your body can repair and regenerate. If that's not happening, then that's definitely causing your body to have more and more and more pain, muscle aches all over, okay? Now, it can also affect your posture because your head sits on top of those bones. So anywhere those bones go, it takes the head with it. Your brain's designed, it has to be level has its own reflex. It's called the writing reflex. And the whole purpose is to make sure your brain's always balanced. So if one of those neck injuries from years ago, a slip, a fall, an accident, abuse, you name it, there's so many different ways that one of these bones could have got just a little out of misalignment, taking the head a little bit off, the brain not liking it, now it can't move that bone. So what it'll do is it'll move other parts of your body maybe drop one shoulder, maybe pull up one hip. It'll cause your body to compensate, creating weaknesses in your neck, your upper back, your lower back. It can affect the nerves that go down the arms, down the legs. And now those compensations now are one side stretched while the other side contracts and then you're not getting sleep. And so now all these muscles are fighting against each other. And now you have this chronic, chronic pain that builds up in the neck and the upper back and the lower back. Over time, this is, leads you to the point of fibromyalgia, right? Which you go to your street, you go to several medical doctors and they run out of ideas of what it could be. So they just say, ah, it must be fibromyalgia. But what we have found is if we can find a misalignment at the top of the neck, uh, putting pressure on the brainstem, and we have all the diagnostic equipment here at our office, we can check you with. On the first visit, we can tell you for sure whether you have a misalignment in your neck that's causing your fibromyalgia or not. If so, we'll explain to you what we need to do to try to fix it. Very simple. We just find out how that bone's misaligned, one of 274 possible ways they can misalign. And we'll figure out which one of those possible misalignments and we make a real simple correction to slide that bone right back under your head where it's supposed to be. Now your head levels out, the communication from your brain to your body opens up, the sleep center starts to activate again and actually shuts your brain down through all four stages and over time your body heals. It's really that simple. If you think about it, there's no fibromyalgia bug. There's no virus or bacteria that causes fibromyalgia. There's something going on inside of your body that creates this fibromyalgia syndrome. I believe from my experience of hundreds of fibromyalgia patients, 
every single one that I have had, I have found a misalignment at the top of the neck that's been the cause of their problem. And by correcting that, many of them who some of them have been on disability for years got their life back, are now living a normal pain-free life. They're sleeping good. They're waking up with energy. I want that for you. If you live in the Charlotte area, give our office a call. If you don't, Try to find somebody near you. Google upper cervical and find the closest upper cervical doctor. You, you deserve it. You've suffered long enough. Let's stop the suffering. If you live in the Charlotte area, call us, 704-588-5560. We would love the opportunity to try to help you get your life back. Just call. We never charge for the initial consultation. During that consultation, we're going to find out what your needs are. If you're a case that we believe we can help you with, we're going to tell you that and tell you what we need to do now to correct it. If it's not a case we think we can help you with, then we'll try to find someone else that can, okay? That's the least we can do. So just give our office a call. We look forward to meeting you, see what we can do to get your life back. Have a great day.